Transocean shares are having their best month in nearly two decades, and options traders think there is more upside ahead in 2020. Pete Nigerian joins us now from Minneapolis. Pete? Hey. How are you, Scott? Good to see you. Yeah, you talk about you Transocean. Well. Just go back Go back to late November. This is a $4.50 stock. Oil was trading about 55, 53, somewhere in that range. Now today you see oil getting up towards 61 or 62. This stock has moved all the way up now towards $7 a share. They're buying the January 24th expiring seven calls. So in other words, they're extending out an extra week, looking for a little bit more room for the upside for this to maybe break out and make, break out even more than it already has, because that's been a very, very swift move since November 20th to where it is right now. They bought about 8,000 of these calls. They paid only about 35 cents for these calls. The stock is still virtually right where it was before, but I like this kind of call buying, and I think going into the new year, we've talked about energy, energy hitting time and time again over the last, call it now, two months. Now they continue with Transocean looking for more upside. Now I got a second one for you. We're looking at Microsoft. Microsoft's really interesting because you guys were talking about some of the performance last year, or this year rather, and what's going to happen in 2020. Well, Microsoft had an unbelievable year, right? Well, they were owning the January calls going into today, the January 157 and a half calls, selling those calls and buying about 5,000 of the February 7th expiring. So in other words, buying a little bit more time, but they're going up. They're buying the 165 strike. So given where the stock is right now or where it was, it was trading about 157 and a quarter and now buying the 165 strike calls. Really aggressive. We're looking for even more upside. I had to buy these calls, Scott. I own the stock, as you already know. We talk about this stock all the time, but I like these calls as well. So I'm really bulled up right now in Microsoft. Yeah, wondering, you know, how much these stocks are have the potential to pull back. They, they, so many have done well, right? Software stocks and these cloud yeah. stocks, they're going to have yeah. to continue their performance to justify the moves that we've seen in some of these stocks, Pete. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, Scott, and I think that's a really good point. I mean, they've had a great year. They've had a great run when you, you guys are talking about Facebook and Apple and all the names of Microsoft as well. But in this space and software, what I like most about what we're seeing here is this transitional stock that has turned themselves, let's, let's call them a cloud company, they are still, there's so much more potential upside because they're not the top dog. AWS, Amazon, that's the top dog when we're talking about cloud. Can they keep eating into that market share? And I think that they can. So I think there's plenty more in terms of the growth that they've got, Scott, in the area where they need to grow. I think they're still growing at enough of a clip that this stock could very easily be one of these stocks that we might be talking about when it's $200 a share.